so yesterday we talked about mining right like what is mining how mining is done so now in today's lecture we are going to see the blockchain developer roadmap about the jobs and everything but before proceeding further let us see the blockchain visual demo like yesterday we have seen a block demo right how a blockchain block actually looks like how it works but in today's session what we are going to see is how actually blockchain looks like so this is our blockchain right so this is a blockchain and you can see that each of these blocks are connected with each other and how can i say that we can say that because in the previous hash previous hash of this block and is containing the hash of this block and previous hash of this block is actually containing the hash of this block so we can say that that this is a blockchain and now this is we have this mind button right so now let's say uh someone let's say some hackers trying to change the data of this block okay so let's say some type uh, like some hacker come into picture and he tries to let's say try to manipulate the data of this block so when he will do this you will see that the color of the blocks will change now why this is so because of the principle of immutability because what is blockchain blockchain is a distributed immutable ledger so whenever someone will try to change the data of the block of any block you will see that the entire blockchain will change so how we can correct this so we have seen that because of the distributed like because of the distributed property of the blockchain because of this verification and validation of the blocks so whenever will someone will try to change some data in a block of a blockchain so this will be corrected by other blocks that the other blocks that are connected to the network they will see that okay there are some hacker is trying to do something so what they will do they will again make this data right and let's say this is a new block and let's say again let me bring back the green blocks the mine blocks so let's say there is a miner let's say this miner tries to do some transaction let's say there is a transaction where a is sending some bitcoin to b a is sending some bitcoin to b so this is a transaction and the miner has like uh, transferred this transaction to this block of the blockchain and when he will click on this mine you will see that the hash as well as the like previous hash will be the same but the hash of this block will change it will take some time so now you can see that we have a different hash and now let's say this block is a second block that a miner is trying to add so in that case let's say there is some c there is someone c who is trying to transfer some bitcoin to d so in this case when you will click on mine you will see that what will happen this block will automatically contain the hash of the previous block now you can see that we have this previous hash and this previous hash is containing the hash of this block so this is how miner mines like at this point of time i am showing you a visual demo that in the case of miners what they do is they have a command line they have a software when where they type all these commands and when they type all these commands this is how mining is actually done so as a miner let's say you want to become a miner so in that case we have to just type a command and this is how mining will be done so you do not have to you do not need to solve any mathematical problem or something like that just typing a command will do the mining process for you okay so this is how actually mining is done and now let me show you one more thing because i told you that we will be talking about the blockchain so this is how a block of a blockchain looks like so this is the website bitcoin explorer so this contains all the blocks of the blockchain so this is the block of the blockchain so we have the hash confirmation timestamp so there are various fields right related to this block and we, we this block is at height 726356 because blockchain is a, a chain of blocks right so this block is at height 72600 no not actually 72000 it is i think 726356 so you can see that we have various other fields also which definitely we will discuss in some other webinar not in this webinar but this is how a block of a blockchain looks like right and we can see one more thing from here from this bitcoin explorer so now here you can see the all the latest blocks that are actually being mined let me click on view all blocks so now this is this is the beautiful thing so now you can see that we have chain of blocks 70 like this is 7 lakhs 26405 7 lakhs 26404 so this is the block number that we have like we are seeing and this is the block hash associated with these blocks and this is the mine time like how many time like uh at what time this mine like this block was mined so 12 minutes ago like at this point of time we are having 536 right so 12 minutes ago this block was actually mined and who has mined this block this is unknown and this is the size of the block so this is how blockchain looks like in real life scenario these are the real blocks that you are seeing on your screen and we can also see one more thing 
from this Bitcoin Explorer. That is this latest transactions. So let's say you did some transaction to your friend. So that transaction will come to this mempool. This is called a mempool. This is an area where your transaction will come. So let's say you are trying to send some Bitcoin to your friend. So that transaction will be present here. Okay. The miners will pick these transactions from this mempool only. Okay. So miners will pick the transactions from this mempool only. And after that, the mining process will start. So this is how this whole process takes place in real life scenario. This is what you can see also in this also. This is the mempool size, right? And where this mempool is present. So this mempool is present at each and every node, which is the part of this blockchain network. So let's say you are a node, right? You are a part of this blockchain node. Like for example, let me show you this. So let's say you are this node. Okay. So if you are a node in this blockchain network, so you will have a mempool attached to your node. Okay, so each of these blocks, like each of these nodes will be having this mempool. This will have the mempool, this will have a mempool, this will have a mempool, this will have a mempool as well as this will have a mempool. And all these mempools will be the exact copy of each other. It means if let's say in this mempool we have some transaction, uh, let's say 0 cross 1 2. Okay, so this same transaction will be at this place 0 cross 1 2, 0 cross 1 2, and 0 cross 1 2. And when the miner has to mine for these blocks, so they will pick the transaction from this mempool and then they will mine the block. So this is how mining and ev like each and every process on a blockchain network looks like. So like, do we have any questions related to this topic or uh, related to mining or anything? Okay. Are we clear? Someone has unmuted himself. Please mute yourself. Okay. Uh, some actually someone mics is on. Please uh, switch off your mic. Thank you. Okay. Now let's talk about the decentralized application. What is this decentralized application? And this will be a reference point with the help of which we are going to understand what is this blockchain look like? What is this blockchain developer and what does he do? Okay. So this will be very much, very much helpful in understanding blockchain developer roadmap. So what is this decentralized application? So if we talk about a regular application, a centralized application, this is how a centralized application looks like. We have a client, we have a server. Let's say this server is from YouTube. Okay. So this is the server from YouTube. And let's say you want to watch some video. So you will request this YouTube server that I want to watch this video and this YouTube server will provide you this, uh, like this video or this application, whatever is there on this server. Okay. So like this way only we have some applications. So this server is the one which is holding these applications. And whenever we want to request some data, we request this server for that data. So this is how a regular application or what we, I will say a centralized application looks like. But when we talk about a decentralized application, a decentralized application does not run on one single server, but that decentralized application is actually running on each and every node that is the part of this blockchain network. And since Bitcoin does not have any concept of decentralized application or smart contract, so in that case, we have this Ethereum network and each and every node which is connected to this Ethereum network having this decentralized, like this decentralized application is running on each and every node of this Ethereum network. So this is how a decentralized application works. This is the typical regular application, centralized application running on a server only, but this decentralized application is running on each and every node that is a part of this Ethereum network. Now, how this decentralized application is actually made? Like uh, if I have to, like if I talk about the structure of this decentralized application, how we can make this decentralized application? So our decentralized application simply consists of a smart contract. Okay, this consists of a smart contract. And when we integrate this smart contract with the front end, front end means a React JS front end, it can be a React JS front end, JavaScript front end means any front end that can make the experience of the user like when uh, someone tries to use this apply application, he can easily use this application for that we need a front end. When we integrate this smart contract with this front end and deploy this on a decentralized network, then what we get a decentralized application. So this is what a decentralized application looks like having a smart contract integrated with this front end and deployed to this decentralized network. 
okay so in case of like regular application we have a server and a front end right uh, like we have a server in which the application is running but in case of a decentralized application we have a smart contract running on blockchain this smart contract is actually behaving just like a server where we are actually storing all our data in case of our regular centralized application we have a server which is storing all our data but in case of a decentralized application we have this cent like this a smart contract this blockchain actually which is the which is actually storing all the data that we want to store to our decentralized application so this is what our decentralized application is all about nothing more nothing less simply an integration of a smart contract with the front end deployed to the decentralized network that is that can be ethereum network or any other network of your choice so do we have any questions related to this topic decentralized application or are we clear here okay so now moving further now let's talk about the roadmap to becoming a blockchain developer how we can become a blockchain developer so when we talk about blockchain developer right <laughs> so when we talk about blockchain developer there are two types of blockchain developer first one is a blockchain core developer and another one is a blockchain software developer now the role of a blockchain core developer is to uh, develop the protocols of blockchain like we have seen uh, like in yesterday's video right in bitcoin source code so the role of a blockchain core developer is to develop that infrastructure that protocol for developing the application on but the role of blockchain software developer is to create decentralized application and in job marketplace or in startup marketplace most of us will focus like most of you will see that they focus on blockchain software developer means they are looking for people who can make a decentralized application not the people who are looking for like who can make a blockchain from scratch because we already have a blockchain right why do we require someone to create a blockchain from scratch so most of the time you will be seeing this job description like blockchain software developer and we are going to see this in depth but if you want to become a blockchain core developer in that case let me tell you you have to learn languages like golang uh, c++ rust so languages like this you have to learn in order to become a blockchain core developer but in order to become a blockchain software developer we are going to see what we have to learn so now we have seen how to become like how to create a decentralized application right when we talk about a decentralized application it consists of a front end and a back end that is our smart contract and our front end right so this is what makes a decentralized application and when we have a decentralized application consisting of this front end as well as this smart contract what i call this type of decentralized application as a pure decentralized application why i am calling this as a pure decentralized application is because we are not using any central authority to store our data but in marketplace you will see some of these decentralized application using some of the database that is central server or database in order to store data now what i call these type of decentralized application as partial decentralized application because what they are doing is they are using this central authority this central server and database in order to store their data so in the marketplace in the job marketplace you will be seeing the job description related to this like pure uh, decentralized application like where they are asking for the skills related to this front end as well as this smart contract only but in many of the cases you will be seeing this requirement of this database as well as server people also means they will be having a job description in which they will be asking that you must know this this database server and plus all these things but in some of the job description you are going to see is only front end as well as only front end and smart contract so now let's talk about how we can become a blockchain developer <coughs> so now we are clear with our decentralized application concept right so now if you want to become a blockchain developer so first of all the thing that you have to remember is you need to learn the technologies that are required for the front end like in front end we usually use javascript react js angular js type of thing right when we talk about front end so in that case you need to learn javascript front end angular js when we talk about smart contract so when we are talking about smart contract you can use solidity as a programming language or we have one more programming language that is viper to make this smart contract but viper is not that popular so i will suggest you to go for solidity for making this a smart contract when it comes to this database and server for database you can learn either mysql or nosql and for server we have various programming languages such as python java or node js you can learn any of these programming languages it like uh, given in the job description like if you are applying for a job just see what they are asking for just apply accordingly but these things are compulsory things like if you want to become a blockchain developer and if you are serious in becoming a blockchain developer then these things are the compulsory things that you must know some front end technology and you must know how to make a smart contract and you can choose the programming language of your choice that's your choice okay but i know some of you must be thinking like which is the best programming language to become a blockchain developer 
like people have this question like which is the perfect programming language like which programming language do i should start with to become a blockchain developer so let me tell you one thing when you are creating a decentralized application what you are doing is you are actually connecting your front end to your smart contract right now to connect your front end to your smart contract you need something because front end is a real world application because this front end is a part of react like you make a front end using react js javascript and all things like that right but when we talk about a smart contract this is a blockchain world application so you need to connect this front end with this blockchain world application and for that you need to learn some libraries like for example you can either use web3.js as a library to connect this front end with this smart contract so that they can communicate with each other or you can use web3.py this is also a library so that you can connect this front end with this smart contract or you can also learn there is one more library that is ether.js in order to connect your front end with your smart contract so it does not matter which programming language you choose at the end it all depends whether you know or not how to connect this front end with this smart contract you can choose any programming language of your choice like whatever programming language which suits you for front end you can choose that and whatever programming language which suits you for this smart contract you can choose that but at the end which is the most important thing that you have to remember is that you need to know some way or the other to connect this front end with this smart contract and this is one of the important thing for you to become a blockchain developer so you must know one thing how to connect this front end with this smart contract okay so this is the thing so there is no best programming language programming language can be of your choice one more important thing that you need to learn about like to become a blockchain developer is the oops concept like the object oriented programming language concept so if you want to become a blockchain developer you need to develop smart contracts and smart contracts have all the concepts related to the oops concepts only like you will see a lot of object oriented programming used in your smart contract so what i will suggest you you can learn any programming language like java c++ also in order to sharp up your object oriented programming language concepts or you must know at least concepts related to object oriented programming language such as encapsulation abstraction what are these things how to create an object so things things like this you must know before you are thinking of becoming a blockchain developer okay so this is the road map to becoming a blockchain developer i hope you under, like understand how to become a blockchain developer if you have any questions please ask like if you have any type of questions you still have any questions related to programming language or something you can ask Question. Yes. So, uh, say that your decentralized uh, application that uh, use only front end and smart contract. Right. So, where uh, the data is being stored? Type of application. Actually, the data is stored in this smart contract <coughs> or on this blockchain only. Like we can use some external entities such as IPFS. We have one more thing that I was going to discuss. Uh, this is called IPFS. So let's say you have some images to store, you have some big data to store. In order to that, in order to store that, you need this IPFS, which is actually a decentralized way of storing your data. Okay, so you use in that case this IPFS. But if you are thinking, no, I need some database because see the thing with database is definitely it is much easier to interact with database, right? We already know how to interact with database, how to fire our queries, right? We can do that easily. But when it comes to this smart contract, this, this blockchain, definitely you need to learn a lot of things from scratch. That's the only trouble. And that's why you will see a lot of decentralized application are actually not totally decentralized. They are partial decentralized application. Uh, Makes sense. Like what I'm trying to explain to you. Or do you have any still any doubts? One thing mm -hmm. that like you said, uh, <coughs> it's been stored as uh, on smart contracts. Right. Uh, is there any chance uh, like there is a lot of uh, people working on this smart contract and someone changes from their uh, end and all the data has been uh, get corrupted? Like someone changes at their end, like uh, once the smart contract is deployed, you cannot change it, right? Yes. So it is not being changed. You cannot change it. Yes. Definitely it will, it will be on your node. If you are a part of this blockchain network, definitely it will be running on your node, but you cannot change the data inside this smart contract. This is like, like this is fixed. You cannot change it. This is immutable. Okay. Anyone else have any questions? I I I have a doubt. Mm -hmm. So my goal this should be a 
Your uh, voice is breaking. But I'm not that breaking. good with respect to. Hello. Yes. Is it clear? Yeah. Now. Yes, it is yeah. clear. But so it's my goal is to be a blockchain. Yeah, my goal is to be a blockchain developer, but mm-hmm. I'm not that good with respect to HTML and CSS. Okay. So, uh, like, how pro efficient do I have to be with HTML, CSS to be a blockchain developer? See, uh, <coughs> at the starting, sorry for that. Actually, at starting, I will not suggest you to go for this HTML and CSS type of things. because uh, see we have templates right <coughs> so we can use these templates for making the front end okay so just know the basic of this html and css and just be good with this programming languages like if you are learning a front end technology so be good at react js and for uh, like for html and css you can use there are a lot of you know bootstrap is there and there is css tailwind so there are various other options for choosing the templates and all those at this point of time you must not be thinking about html and css first you must be thinking about how to create a decent size application okay so for now you just okay. know the basics and that will be enough thank you thanks man okay yes what program can your voice is not audible start hello hello yes yes am i audible now Yes, you are audible. Uh, uh, which uh, programming language would you recommend kickstart this? See, that's the thing, right? Like, I uh, told Java script or or sorry uh, or 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 what uh, other option do you have? Like one is Java script and another one Java script or Python or uh, see, this is the thing. What would hmm. Do you recommend? Actually, your voice. Language you give more priority. I will give priority. I will definitely. Go. Yes, yes. I got you. Like I got your question. So definitely, if I you will ask me, so I will give priority to JavaScript only because I think JavaScript is the king of front end, right? So why to go for any other programming language if we are talking about front end? But definitely, as I said, that's totally up yeah. to you. If you like Python, definitely you can go for Python. That's why we have this Web three dot pi library, right? So definitely you have to just do a little bit of research, okay. and that's up to you. That's totally up to you. Whatever language you want, you can choose it. Okay. Great. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Any more? Like, do you guys have any questions? Okay. So let us move further. So now let me tell you one more interesting technology when we are talking about blockchain, and this is something. a uh, very good i believe that you must know when you are thinking of becoming a blockchain developer now there is one more thing when we are talking about blockchain and that is hyperledger now what is this hyperledger if we talk about the definition of hyperledger it is a little bit complicated definition that hyperledger is a global enterprise blockchain project that offers the necessary framework standards guidelines and tools to build open source blockchains and related application for use across various industries so definitely it is a bit complicated process like definition but let me tell you a simple definition of this hyperledger and why i am telling you all this hyperledger is simply a private permissioned blockchain it is a private permissioned blockchain so what do i mean by that now till now what we have seen is the blockchain we are that we have talked about is a public blockchain because all the data that we were talking about the all the blockchain that we were talking about were actually present in the public domain you can see like how what amount of transaction has been done and we have seen all that also right in blockchainexplorer.com that there all the blocks were mentioned in that site and you can see that what is inside that block but when it comes to an enterprise when it comes to a company so companies like it companies big it companies they do not like that their data is in the public domain they do not want it. definitely it is in an encrypted form nobody can uh, see that data but still they do not want that their data is in the public world so what they do well like what they use actually is that they use a hyperledger so hyperledger hyperledger is a private blockchain so it is not a public blockchain it is completely private and it is completely permission and the best thing about hyperledger is that hyperledger says that you do not need to know any particular programming language in order to create your smart contracts like in our previous slides what we have seen is that in order to make a smart contract we need to learn a different type of programming language right we need to learn solidity or we need to learn viper or any other programming language in order to make this a smart contract but hyperledger says that you do not require any specific programming language you can learn any programming language of your choice and you can create a smart contract out of it 
and this is one of those technologies that you will see in some of the job description definitely <laughs> at this point of time hyperledger is not that popular because this is in a private like private domain but definitely it is one of those technology that is that can provide you a high paying job so you need to remember this hyperledger technology and this is the documentation that like this screenshot is from the documentation of hyperledger only that smart contracts authored in general purpose programming languages such as java go node.js rather than constrain domain specific language so you do not need to learn any specific language in order to work at like at this hyperledger blockchain okay so this is what hyperledger is and in other skills like other skills there are other skills <coughs> sorry for this there are other skills also to learn for blockchain development like nfts definitely you should know what are nfts how to make one you should know what is get get is a software that we install to our system in order to make them a node so that we can be a part of this blockchain network so this can be an interview type of questions or you will see some of the job description around it that you need to know get you need to learn nft and all those things <coughs> and another thing is that you need to know truffle as well as hard hat now truffle and hard hat are these like these are tools for blockchain developers that can make your life very easy like you want to make a decentralized application right so <coughs> with the help of this truffle and hard hat you can easily make a decentralized application you can also like you should know what is ganache ganache is a local blockchain you need to know about this also and you need to learn about ipfs like i told you what is ipfs ipfs is a decentralized solution of storing huge amount of data so like if you want to store some images you cannot directly store it on blockchain definitely you can store it on blockchain but it will cost you a lot and lot amount of fees okay and definitely as a developer or as a company you do not want that you have to pay so much amount of fees just to store some images so in order to use this like uh, in order to store your images what you can use is you can use this ipfs so ipfs is a technology this is a decentralized technology means it this will provide you a uh, storage uh, it is actually a decentralized storage okay in simple term this is actually a decentralized storage database are actually centralized entity right but ipfs is a decentralized entity and the best thing is like we have actually created uh courses on this also like if you want to explore about it definitely you can explore on codam these courses are actually created by me only so if you are interested definitely you can see this course like i have created the course on solidity i have created a course on testing of our smart contract like why you need to learn testing of a smart contract you can watch this video you will understand why we need to learn testing of our smart contract this is completely free this video actually so you can explore the courses if you want this is related to truffle and hard hat and this is related to the solidity smart contract so you can see this course also and what we are doing is we are actually also doing one more thing tell you this also we are actually creating a learning path for blockchain developers only so now if you have seen Kodam website so we are actually creating a learning path for all the people who are want to become a blockchain developer so these two courses are already uploaded solidity and ethereum fundamentals testing smart contracts using truffle and hard hat and now we are working on this web3.js definitely i will try to like upload this course in this march only so you can explore these courses also so do we have any questions till now related to hyperledger or something or these technologies any one of these hello yes hello uh, does this course in uh, code dam include ganache yes or... <laughs> actually i have talked about ganache in this already also i have talked about ganache in this okay truffle also so everything is included like i have covered till now let me tell you what i have covered till now so i have covered this truffle i have covered this hard really different hmm. between those courses like uh, learn solidity course and learn okay path. is there any difference okay uh, the difference between these two courses are you talking about these two courses or yeah like that uh, learn solidity course and uh, web3 learn path okay or both are same okay actually the paths that this is the path actually this is the path means uh, this is providing you a guide like this is just like a guide which is telling which course to take after which like you have to take this course then you have to take this course but at the end this course like solidity and fund ethereum fundamental is actually this course okay in this course what i have done is i have actually talked about solidity programming language so i have created some projects like e-commerce token and ico so this is actually for the people who want to learn solidity as a programming language okay in order to make smart contracts 
this course is okay, actually so this doesn't hmm. this doesn't include a drop and hard hard no okay. this is completely based on solidity okay. only this completely based on solidity okay. This course actually talks about truffle and hard hat and testing of our smart contract. Okay. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. So let's move further. <coughs> so now let's talk about the resources related to blockchain. <coughs> so what are the resources we have for blockchain? Now you can follow these books like these publications. Packet publication and O'Reilly publication. These are some wonderful publications. Like these are famous for technical terms. So you can definitely, if you want to go for this blockchain, I will suggest you first of all, definitely read this book, Mastering Bitcoin. This is a wonderful book by O'Reilly publication. And definitely there are various other books related to like Mastering Bit Ethereum and there are other books also by this O'Reilly publication only. And another publication publisher I will suggest you is to go for this packet public publications. Like these packet publications also provide you wonderful books on blockchain, Ethereum, if you are interested in becoming a blockchain developer. And one more thing, like I will suggest you, if you are thinking to go for this Hyperledger, then definitely do not directly go to this Hyperledger. First, learn the concepts of public blockchain, because if you will directly go to this Hyperledger, you will be confused. Because this is something a little bit complicated, I will say, because Hyperledger is a technology that actually came after this public blockchain only, right? So this is little bit complicated. So if you are thinking to become a hyperledger developer, in that case, I will suggest you first of all, master your concept related to public blockchain, and then you can switch to this hyperledger. And definitely there are various other books by this packet publications only. Just search on Amazon, you will find lot and lot of books related to blockchain developers, and they are really good. Just go see the ratings and just order them. They are really good. Okay. And other resources that you can refer for is the documentations. Now documentations are freely available, like, if you want to learn web3.js, you can go for the documentation. If you want to learn for ether.js, you can go for the documentation. It means every documentation is freely available over the internet. But definitely documentations have something that they are a little bit complicated to understand. But definitely if you have time, you think that, okay, I can, I have a time, like I can spend some time to it. Then definitely you can go for these documentation if you want. Okay. I think there will be no questions. If you have any questions, you can ask related to the resources of blockchain. Okay, so now let's move in for that. I hope this, is, this makes sense, like what I told. So now let's talk about one of the most important thing that I think everyone who is thinking of coming to this Web3 world, to this blockchain world must know. Now, there are various scams that are going on this Web3 world. If we talk about internet, okay, internet in 90s, when internet was just like booming at that point, particular point of time, like people were investing huge and huge amount of uh, like money to the companies which are actually associated with internet. So let's say you are a company in 90s and you are thinking that I will open my startup related to internet. Then investors were ready to pay you huge amount of money so that they can earn a lot of money in future. So actually what happened due to this, a bubble was created around dot com. So what is this dot com bubble? Dot com bubble is a bubble that was created means a hype was created against this dot com dot com when I'm saying dot com actually I'm talking about internet. So a hype was created around this internet world. So whosoever was doing internet startup, he was getting huge amount of money from the investors and due to which what happened stock market price just like went up. They are like crazy. There were like people were getting so much investment that stock market come like companies who are listed in the stock market. They were just going up and up and like up each and every day. But since this is, this was all based on the hype, this was all based on the hype because internet definitely was a popular thing at that time. But still, if internet was this thing, let's say this, this is internet, the hype related to internet or the marketing glimpse related to this internet was this big. So definitely this bubble have to burst like this bubble was to burst at that time. And that what actually happened, this bubble got busted. And when this bubble got bested, what, ha what actually happened? The stock market related to those companies just went down. And people who have invested like dollars, like thousands and thousands of dollars in the companies, they just got, like you can understand, they just got broke. So in the same way, if we talk about our Web3 scenario, because the internet is just Web2.0, and when we are talking about blockchain, we are talking about Web3.0. So in the same way, what we are seeing is our Web3 bubble. 
if you have if you follow Elon Musk, Elon Musk also tweeted related to this like this Web3 only that Web3 sounds like BS. Now BS is something abusive. Definitely you can search it for Google if you want to. So he said that Web3 is just BS means it is not that good. Now when I first saw this tweet, I was like, why he is saying that? Because he is a person who is holding so many cryptocurrencies and he's saying that Web3 sounds like BS means Web3 is just nothing. Then I started reading his all his tweets like before this December 22, 2021. And what I found is that Elon Musk was not against this Web3. What he was against was the marketing glimpse that were around this Web3, the Web3 bubble that was being created. Like everyone is searching for this Web3, right? If you, you will like, uh, like if you will go for YouTube or any other social media platform, everyone is talking about Web3 only. So at this point of time, we have various type of scams. And that first scam that we are going to talk about is a job scams. Like what is this job scam? Like people will approach you. They will say that now we have a vision of creating some uh, million dollar company and we want you to be the part of this company. So just be with us and we will make you millionaires. So when you heard these type of lines, just understand that you are in a scam. Like I am also on Instagram and I receive various messages and where they say that if you will like be at the part of my company, I am ready to give you like I'm going to make you a millionaire. So you have to be aware of the scams like these. What they will do, they will just make fool out of people. They will definitely create some tokens. And what they will do, they will those like they will sell those tokens and they will run away. So you have to be aware of the scams that are going for this in this job scams era. Okay, area. Another type of scam is going on in this Web3 world is online courses scam. Like you will see the courses of Web3. If you will just search on YouTube or some on Google, you will see that the Web3 courses are actually being sold in thousands of dollars. Like just imagine we have a course which have a particular value. I'm not against that. You should not like anyone should not sell courses because it's good, right? If someone, someone is providing you some value, they can sell courses. But the problem is what value they are providing for those courses are very much less as compared to the price they are charging for. Like for a single course, they are asking you to pay thousands amount of dollar. And they are saying that if you will pay us this amount of money, we are going to make you a blockchain developer. So this type of scam you have to be aware of. So when you are taking any course, okay, you are going for any online course, any type of course, just see the value of that course. If you find the value of that course and the price has some disproportion in it, then definitely do not go for that type of course. Don't invest your thousands amount of dollars. Like I was watching one of the YouTube videos and I just like he was selling his courses. So I just went to his website and the course price that he was selling was for around two thousand dollars. And when I saw those courses, the content of those courses, I was like, this course are not that worth it. So why are you charging this big amount of money? It's all because of this Web3 glimpse that we are having today. This Web3 bubble that we are having today. And the third type of scam that is going on this Web3 world is investing scams. Like influencers on YouTube are telling you where to invest in crypto, where not to invest in crypto. Believe me or not. They are not actually investing in any of the cryptos. What they are doing is they are just telling you where to invest, where not to invest. They are getting a sponsorship for these token companies. They will get a sponsorship for selling these tokens to advertise these tokens. They will take sponsorship money. When you watch those type of videos, they will get the advertising videos like advertising, like you do have an advertising fees, right? So they will get the amount from that also and they will become rich. But definitely if you are going to invest in those type of tokens or in those type of cryptocurrencies, uh, you are not going to be rich at that point. Like when you are doing these type of step, uh, investing type of thing, uh, what I will suggest you is just to have a look at the token that you are going to invest for. Just don't listen to these influencers that are talking about investing into these tokens. This is what I'm trying to tell you. So do we have any questions related to these scams? Someone here has got scammed. Anyone want to share his story? Yes. I have a question for you that uh, mm -hmm. how efficient I need to be to become a serious block blockchain developer and landing on a landing on my first job. Serious? Uh, like how serious? This is not a parameter that we can measure, right? What I can say is that you need to learn some skills, and I have told you about those skills. At least learn. No, I am just ask, asking about how how good uh, I am with my tech stack that you mentioned uh, all this technology solidity and. For now, if I will, how good you have to be, right? You are asking this. Uh, 
See, uh, being very honest, at this point of time, if you know how to code a smart contract, if you just know how to write a solidity program, this is more than enough. And why I'm saying this, because this is all because of the demand and supply of the blockchain developer, and which I'm going to talk about it also. But you have to understand, at this point of time, the demand of the blockchain developers are very, very, very high. Okay, and the supply of the blockchain developers is very low. Like you will not see many blockchain developers. And that's why companies are just hiring like anyone who just know what is blockchain, how smart contract is built. If you know things like these only, that's more than enough. Just see the job description. You will find it. Many of the students like I, I also teach like uh, I have a YouTube channel also teach there also. So many of my students also get selected in these blockchain companies in this blockchain internships. And what they told me is that they just learn what is this smart contract is all about, how to code on a smart contract. They build some project on this smart contract and that's more than enough. So this is the best time. If you just know the basics of blockchain development, that's more than enough. I, what I will say, but definitely you should work. As, more. Of, hmm. sir, as of now, uh, uh, from, from last few days, mm -hmm. I'm watching your courses on Codeman, about the solidity course, learning path. I have, uh, uh, almost completed mm -hmm. just last few session uh, about, about, I'm about to complete it in coming few days and I'm a React developer, I'm a front-end developer, I'm able to get uh, front-end application and all the stuff where I didn't, I, I just learned Solidity and code on my own and deploy uh, some smart contracts using that um, uh, Metamask wallet. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, I don't, I did not have any, any experience with the how actual uh, work is done in the companies in the big companies with the, okay. uh, with regarding the blockchain technology but uh, with with this that i can uh, apply for job or internship good idea surely surely you can apply for these internships and jobs don't worry they will teach you everything okay it's what they are actually looking for the people who are actually interested in this blockchain development area okay so if you know how to create a smart contract if you have created some smart contract projects just like just apply for those jobs. Let's say you are applying for 10 jobs. You will be get selected. Like this is the current trend. I'm what I'm talking about. Just use this hype as your to your advantage. This is the thing. You can definitely apply for the jobs. Thank you. Okay. And do let me know the results also. Okay. Obviously, I am a big fan of yours. As of now, I have watched watching the courses content. I'm liking it pretty much. And Thank you. Thank you so That's much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. So do we have any yes, other? Actually, I, huh. I just, I am very passionate about the whole, whole block learning. I am not jumping up, jumping on the big big slash salary for million dollar. Or very good. On those parts. I am hmm. very passionate about, I, I first, uh, I want to learn, learn and learn the, how the, how the things block can actually, how this whole system works, how well this work, uh, uh, then I will think about the earning part, but as far as I really like to learn about it. Great, and and have a pretty good, good understanding of the whole ecosystem. Very good. Definitely. And you can start applying for the jobs. Uh, if you don't just try to be perfect, just start applying for the jobs. That's more than enough for now. Uh, it, it will be helpful for hmm. me if you can provide someone who is already working in the, uh, in, in the, in the uh, industry or having an industry. If I can talk with him. with him. Surely, surely, surely. I understand. Like you want me to connect with with someone who is actually already working in a uh, blockchain who is, company. Who is already, who is, uh, who is ahead, ahead in, in the career path. Then, I got one you. One or two years. Maybe. I got you. I will definitely arrange will, some uh, sessions. Sir, I will uh, message you on the Discord server. So definitely, if you can provide me service, really. Surely, surely, surely. I will definitely uh, try to do some sessions on this also. I will definitely do that. Noted this. Okay. So do we have any other questions related to the scams or any other topic? Uh, so one question, mm -hmm. as you said, there are investing scams. Mm -hmm. So where we can check the fundamentals uh, mm -hmm. if we want to invest in some tokens or tokens? See, first of all, you have to go to the website, like the people who are, like say, you are looking for some token A. So first of all, go to their website and just search, like look for the white paper. White paper is a thing where they have talked about all the fundamentals, like what they are trying to do, what their technology is all about and everything. What are the projects they are investing to? So you have to first research their website. You have to 
like you have to actually be here you have to have some networks i will say that you need to know about the fundamentals of those company because most of the company what they are doing is they are providing you some glimpse of like they are doing some big projects but behind the back they are not doing all those things so here are some i will say due diligence is involved you have to do some due diligence by yourself only there is no other way you have to do a bit research from like you have to talk to people you have to call them and what sort of things you can do so there is something are white paper reliable source no they are not reliable source if we talk about the current trend they are definitely not the like you cannot completely trust trust those things but you have not much options at this point of time as i said now you have to do a due diligence by yourself you need to have a network like what the people that they, they have portrayed on the website whether they are actually doing those things or not like if we talk about stock market right in a stock market everything is available on the internet like every people like people are talking about it and you can do the due diligence of that company if that company is a public listed company right if they have a ipo so you can do a due diligence of that company by going to the websites like government provide all those website but when it comes to cryptocurrency there is no such thing currently so definitely you need to have some networks in order to know about that token and about that cryptocurrency but definitely you fundamentals should be strong enough so that you can actually do a due diligence if you do not know blockchain definitely you cannot you are not able to do the due diligence okay thank you sir okay Actually, I do not do much type of investing in these tokens and all those things. I just have some cryptocurrencies, but I do not do investing type of things. Okay. So, any else? Like anyone else have any questions? Okay. <clears throat> so let's move further. And now let's talk about job. Now, this is a most frequently asked question: How to get a job? And there is only one way to get a job, and that is by searching. there is no other way of getting a job like you have to search for the job of the blockchain developer and where you can search for it you can search for it on linkedin linkedin is the best site like here where you can find the blockchain developer job where you can directly apply for the blockchain developer job there is intershala there is nokri.com there is monster.com so these are the website these are some popular website where you can apply for a blockchain developer job and there is no and like there is no other way of getting a job so if you have a question like how to get a job this is the only way of getting a job by searching for the job okay no job is going to come to you saying that okay uh, we need a blockchain developer until unless you have a youtube channel in that case you will have a job because people will approach you right but if you do not have a youtube channel and sort of things then definitely you have to approach to the companies so this is the only way of getting a job if you want to become a blockchain developer now let's talk about blockchain developer <coughs> salary so this is one of the most interesting questions <coughs> like what is the blockchain developer salary okay so uh, in order to talk about blockchain developer salary we need to understand two things first of all we are going to see the data because if i am not showing you the data and i am telling talking about the blockchain developer salary then definitely it is just a web3 scam right i'm doing a scam by telling you that this blockchain developer earned this and this amount so i will definitely show you some data the data that's available on internet and then we are going to compare it with other developer jobs with other uh, what i will say let's say okay with, with other developer jobs like react js developer or node js developer so conventional developers which are so we are going to compare this blockchain developer job salary with other developers job salary okay so now let's start so this is one of the articles that was posted in times of india so which says that why 2022 may belong to big data analytics and blockchain developers so according like i have read this article and definitely i have shared the link with you all this you can read this articles okay so what this article suggests is that 2022 is going to belong to the blockchain developers and why it is we are going to talk about this in this slide only like in the upcoming videos only like in the upcoming slide only there is one more data related to this blockchain developer like this is one article and this article is actually posted by monster.com which is a very reputed uh, website i will say when it comes to jobs for job seekers if you are looking for a job definitely you can go for this monster.com so they have all the analytics related to the blocks like what are the jobs people are actually looking for what is the trend in the market so according to them blockchain and definitely there are other developers also like machine learning and all 
blockchain roles would be the most sought after skills in 2022 according to trends analyzed by recruiting platform monster.com so one thing is for sure like this future like in like i will say till 2025 you are going to see a lot and lot of opportunity in this blockchain developer uh, field okay and here is one more survey done by linkedin so this is a linkedin survey where you can see that the average blockchain developer salary is around 5,32,000 or we can say that approx 6 lakhs per year so on and like on monthly average like if you talk about the monthly basis it is 44,300 rupees means monthly 50,000 rupees per month you are going to earn if you are at like this is an average like this is the average blockchain developer salary but one thing you have to notice here is that the responses on the LinkedIn is are very less. This is only 66 responses. So we cannot completely rely on this LinkedIn data only because the responses are very less. And this is the responses from India only. Okay. So if in India, we have a salary like six lakhs per year. So you can think that in other countries, definitely it will be more. Like if we talk about USA or any other country, definitely it will be more. So if you are thinking for doing work from like from India only to other like in any other country, so definitely the salary will be much more than this. So now let me show you one more uh, data. This is from glassdoor.com. So according to them, the average blockchain developer salary is around 7 lakhs per year. So by seeing these two data, we can assume that the blockchain developer average salary is around 6 lakhs only. Okay. And in this, you can see that the responses we have is 86 salaries here. And the, this is the average salary of a blockchain developer. Okay. Now you must be thinking like how this blockchain developer average salary is different from any other like any other conventional developer salary like if i become a react js developer if i become a node js developer if i become a full stack developer then also i'm going to earn this amount of money right this is uh, this is an obvious this is an obvious thought in your mind at this point of time so now let's compare this salary let's compare this developer job like this blockchain developer job to this other developer or this conventional developer job. And this is the point that you will see that where blockchain developers have high weightage. Okay. So if we talk about blockchain developers, blockchain developers, in case of blockchain developers, the demand is very high for blockchain developer and the supply is very low. Okay. If we talk about other developers, conventional developers, the demand is like same as supply only. So we have an equilibrium type of situation where demand and supply are approximately the same now since the blockchain developer demand is high right demand is very high and the supply is very low so this like what is happening is due to this you will see the salary that you are going to get in case of blockchain developers job will be much high as compared to the other developers and i'm talking about in less time only. now why i'm saying this less time because definitely if you are some other conventional blockchain developer, like other developer, like React just developer, Node just developer, or a full stack developer, definitely you are going to earn some high amount of salary. I'm not saying that, but you might take much more time because you are because you are actually dealing with a competition where demand and supply are the same. But if you are competing at this point now, when I'm saying competing, when you are like preparing for as a blockchain developer, in this case the competition is very less, right? Competition is very less. And in this case, that since the demand is high and supply is low, people are ready to pay you high amount of salary and you have higher chances of growth as compared to other developers. And this is where blockchain developers are actually playing. Now, this is the, this is the thing. This is simple economic principle. This is not some hypothesis that I'm presenting to you. This is a simple economic process, the principle where if something demand is very high and the supply is very low, then the value of that thing will be automatically very high right so demand is high supply is low value of that thing will be definitely very high and this is the place where blockchain developers are actually excelling or i will say have a higher weightage as compared to other developers now let me show you the growth curve of blockchain developers so at this point of time we are at this position okay this is the position at we are at which we are so this is 2022 and 2025 if we talk about this time this is 2025 now, if you will see after this time, we have a saturation in the growth of this blockchain developers. Like if you are looking for a growth, right? So this is the place you are going to have the most growth. 2022 to 2025, because after 2025, you will see that the supply and the demand of blockchain developer will also be like, like other developers only. It will be like, uh, it, it will be on an equilibrium state only. 
but the people the, the people who will join like who will join as a blockchain developer who will prepare for being a blockchain developer they have a chance of higher growth an exponential higher growth if you are if you are doing to preparation for blockchain developer at this point of time then you are going to enjoy this growth that is from 2022 to 2025 now this is the thing that you need to be aware of so if you are thinking to become a blockchain developer so just see this this is a good time to start with because this is the time where you are going to have the most growth and after this time there will be a saturation then there will be not much use like ev like everyone will be trying to become a blockchain developer because this time at this point of time since this is a new technology people are not opting for it they are have some fears people who are already uh, like they're in the web 2 developer feed they are not trying to switch to this web 2 developer because they are comfortable in their job so this is the best time to study blockchain developer because you are going to enjoy a huge amount of exponential growth if you join this blockchain developer field in 2022 and this is not again this is not based on just some hypothesis this is also an article where you can see this and in this article it is clearly stated that blockchain is one of the fastest growing skill sets with jobs in the growing domain at a whooping rate of 2000 to 6000 percent like if you talk about conventional developers if you talk about conventional developers in case of conventional developers this percentage is only 50 to 100 percent but in case of blockchain developer it is around 2000 to 6000 percent now this is the most fascinating thing if you are thinking to become a blockchain developer now i think this question like is this the right time to study blockchain or not i think this is very much clear this is the perfect time to study blockchain because if you are thinking to like if you are thinking to become a blockchain developer at this point of time you are going to enjoy this growth this exponential growth okay so i think now this is very much clear like what is the blockchain developer salary and whether it is the right time to study blockchain or not okay so with this we can wind up our session so if you guys have any questions related to this topic like we have till now we have discussed you can ask any questions related to blockchain developer salary or anything hello sir yes sir, actually uh I'm really looking forward to enroll in this uh, solidity course, but okay. uh, we have a bit confusion because okay. currently involved in a bootcamp course, uh, currently learning React. Okay. Okay. So, is if it, it will be um, is there a problem uh, if I simultaneously learn both? Because is it really uh, difficult to learn solidity or like? Yeah. Doing simultaneously, it's definitely it's your choice. I cannot, I do not know right about you, like how you study. But one thing is for sure, Solidity okay. is a programming language that is, if you know yeah. at least one programming language, if you know, let's say, if you know JavaScript, if you know C, C++, any yes, programming uh, language. Yes, yes, I know JavaScript and I'm currently learning React. Wonderful. So in that case, Solidity yeah. is not that tough for you. If you know JavaScript or okay. any other programming language, because just understand now, yeah. Solidity is just what I told you about smart contracts. Smart contracts are simply programs. They are going to use variables. They are going to use function. They are going to use loops only. They are not going to use something different. Okay. So you can go for it. Uh, I was just, I'm really a bit confused because um, mm -hmm. this will be a problem. Like uh, mm -hmm. if I take this course, no, I can completely understand. But this is you have to find out by yourself. I cannot answer this for you, right? Okay. 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 I hope it will not be really difficult, right? No, it is that. See, no. that's the point, right? I'm that's really interested. <laughs> so, that's the thing I'm trying to tell you. Now, this is just a simple smart programming language, just like any other program language. Nothing else. That's your okay, choice. Okay. 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 Thank you. Okay. So, do we have any other questions related to blockchain jobs or becoming a blockchain developer? Uh, do mm. the comp uh, companies uh, ask for any specific degree or something? No, I will not say that the companies ask for any specific degree in this field because currently we do not have something like that. Trust me, definitely there are some PG programs that I am seeing on some websites, but I do not suggest. Like I will not say that their companies are asking for it. The simple way, the simplest way, I will say to search whether the companies are asking for it or not just go to linkedin search for blockchain developers where you are looking for the jobs and just read the description job description of those companies 
you will get an idea like what they are actually looking for okay so because if i am going to tell you that they are not they are not requiring any degree so you might be a you still you have some confusion like might they ask for some degree so the best option is just go to linkedin just go to any other website like nokia.com monster.com any website just go and write blockchain developer and see the job description see the job description of around 20 to 30 companies and you will understand what they are actually looking for right that's a simple approach right any person who have a CS degree or any other kind of degree does he have any privilege or any advantages of their like if you are asking whether there is some prerequisite to learn blockchain development ah, right yes, yes, okay okay i got you see there is there are no prerequisite as such but definitely when you are starting with the blockchain developer salary definitely if you are definitely going to start with blockchain what is blockchain all those things and then you are going for smart contracts in that case, definitely what I will suggest you that you must learn any one programming language, at least one programming language before going for this Solidity or any other programming, like any other, uh, like any other thing in this blockchain domain. So yeah, learn I, at least I, one programming I, I, language. I, I, I also noticed that uh, it is easier to uh, consume the content on uh, online than uh, uh, Solidity language if it's more interesting. Right. Uh, content or books and... Right. This is the prerequisite of that course that I have like told like in the video only that you have to know at least one programming language before starting this course. The problem with the smart contract is now that once you deploy your smart contract, it is on blockchain. You are not going to change it. You cannot change it at least because the blockchain is immutable. So you cannot take a risk, right? That I'm going to learn Solidity as my first programming language and I'm going to deploy it to the blockchain. And now I cannot, if I have done some mistake in my smart contract, now I cannot change it. So it will be a big loss for your company financial loss so yes, that's the problem because because the gas part the ethereum right. consumption that, that that for all gone for all right you pay the gas but uh, but it does not hurt you the, the way you want it right right okay any other questions one question mm -hmm. that set of job opportunities are there as a answer or your own yes there are a lot of opportunities we talk about freelancing because now people are actually like uh, uh, actually i was uh, there was one uh, i'm not remembering the name actually now uh, like i know one person who is actually who has a startup of in this in freelancing only so he told me that people are like people who like the clients that are asking for them like they want some blockchain developers so definitely there are is a huge demand for blockchain developer for freelancing so they asked me that i like whether i want to work on the project or not definitely i i was not able to but what i can suggest you is that what i can tell you actually is that there is a huge amount of opportunity in freelancing second thing is about the startup i think you talked about business right so if you will go to any vcs like website now i was on one website it was a particular vc a popular vc and what i found is that they have a specific section related to blockchain development only what they were asking is that if you have any idea related to web3 development nft marketplace or something like that you can directly contact us so they have a specific or separate section for the blockchain developers because the demand is high so they are also looking for people who are ready to you know uh, they are also looking for people who are ready for going for this blockchain developer or startups so vcs are actually looking for these type of people so definitely there is a demand in this startup world also you can easily get so a huge be, amount of investment it would be helpful if you share the sources where we can contact those okay definitely i will share those because i have to search those because i have uh, i was just sliding down one of the vc's website so i found it definitely i will try to share the resources with you all on the discord server only thank you okay any other questions do we have Sir, I have one question. Yes. So, how much time it will take for me to learn and land a job uh, <laughs> if I start right now? That's a totally, again, that's your call. How much time and effort you are putting for this? Because, see, if you are putting two hours a day, then definitely it will take a longer time. If you are putting four hours a day, definitely it will take twice as less time. Right? Yeah. 
so but what i can say that if you are actually giving let's say at least two hours per day so it will take you approx six to seven months but okay. that two hours you have to be very much you know active yeah, yeah. and i'm assuming that you know you are from technical background also. yep 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 okay yeah. any other questions Hello, sir. Hmm. sir is there any uh, is the blockchain is completely decentralized till now yes it is completely decentralized any other questions mm -hmm. so i want to ask this you know the decent this decentralization concept mm -hmm. you know uh, it was uh, implemented because of the bank system you know? there was a third party regulate, regulating this money thing right so uh, mm -hmm. uh, later, in latest news india also you know government also said they will introduce a coin for them right so is it isn't it uh, you know a third party again involved in this like government is producing its own coin definitely it is not i will say that the government whatever government is going to produce it is not decentralized see the currency is not decentralized that's the government who is trying to decide like i want to make this currency like if you will uh, you, do you know about ripple yeah, yeah yeah so ripple is also a protocol that is invented by some banks and now that ripple cryptocurrency that is i think that is xrp i, I do not remember the name that of those tokens but they, that token is under the control of those banks. So I will not say that though that is a cryptocurrency as a, a decentralized cryptocurrency. So that's mm -hmm. up to you. You can also make a cryptocurrency that is not decentralized in nature. Like stable oh, coins. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. So do we have any other questions? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Hello. See, if you're, uh, look, if you're looking for a React developer jobs uh, hmm. we have to work on some projects right so that's this solidity hmm. in this solidity we have to work on some projects like uh, do recruiters look or seek to do good projects like hmm. you know what I mean? so i think you are asking that you are working on react js and you are thinking for solidity but you are thinking like if i made some projects in related to decentralized application means on react just whether the company will take that course like take that project under consideration or not right no hmm. like uh, I, do i have to uh, work on any projects by start learning solidity the g main to ask no projects to this you know blockchain and solidity project id so I guess. Okay, so you are asking like whether we do, we need to do some projects on Solidity and React Yeah, yeah. Definitely, you can. Not React. Hmm. Okay. In Solidity. Okay, in Solidity, whether you are asking whether we should do some projects in Solidity, this is the question. Yeah, yeah. Definitely, you yeah. can do a lot of projects in Solidity. There, we have voting system, we have uh, supply chain management. We have uh, like I have made tokens, ICOs, e-commerce, smart contract. So you can definitely make some projects in Solidity. You can combine it with React just also to make a decentralized application. Okay. I hope this was the question and I have answered it. Yes, yes, yes. yes okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So do we have any other questions? Okay. I think we do not have any questions. So let's wind up this call. So already 640. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this video. You enjoyed this webinar. Uh, do give me your feedback. How do you like it? It will definitely help me. Like whether I was too fast, whether I was too slow or some of the concept you want me to talk about in our next webinar. Definitely. I will be happy to talk about this. Okay. So let's wind up this session. Thank you so much. Yes. Uh, hmm. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, I joined in the session late, so okay. I want to ask, can you share this, you know, uh, PPT? Yes, yes. I will share it this PPT with you all. Okay. How only? It is and one more thing. Uh, yes. I took the course of the Web three, you know, learning path. Mm -hmm. I think uh, I think there is an instruction is same. You 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 are teaching that course, right? Right, right, right.
So is there any you know play, uh, online source where I can connect with you? Definitely you can I will uh, share I will share the links with you. Okay, I will share everything related to like where you can connect with me directly. Okay. Okay, I will share it on Web3 Discord server only. So I will be here present. So you can ask me questions also here. I am already like I'm active in this Web3 Discord server. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Okay, thank you. Okay, so do we have any other questions or let's find out. So I have shared the PPT. You can watch the PPT from there. Okay. So thank you so much. Meet you soon. Next time. Bye bye. Thanks a lot, sir. Okay. Thanks a lot. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye.